guys look welcome to Terry's Tips guys get a notebook get a pen because today we're going to talk about six accounts that you must have as a business owner as an entrepreneur as an investor guys this video is literally for everybody regardless of what stage of building business credit you are at okay so in this video I'm going to explain what accounts you need I'm going to explain why you need them right and I'm going to give you guys the benefits of actually doing this so what are we specifically talking about we're talking about building strong business credit profiles and business credit reports guys this is like my my formula for success that literally I made up myself based on what I'm seeing you know letters are looking for why you guys are getting denied so how this is going to help you guys when you have these six types of accounts we'll explain to you the accounts and how many you need it's going to help you qualify for more business credit bigger amounts better funding better rates have longevity right and a lot of these accounts you can actually get regardless of revenue so this means that you can actually use this formula use these six accounts even if you are a startup if you are a vet if you are brand new to building business credit and guys I'll do my nugget at the end so for business credit building six types of account number one type of account vendor accounts net 30 accounts tier one account and that is the very first type of account that you should have now why because you can get those right now even if you are a brand new business even if you have bad personal credit even if you have no revenue why would you do that because these type of accounts are going to help you have a business credit profile and start to help you have a business credit score which is going to help you qualify for what bigger money and when I say bigger money I'm talking about the unsecured business lines of credit fifty thousand a hundred thousand two hundred thousand I'm talking about the business auto loans I'm talking about the business mortgages I'm talking about the equipment financing guys if you get these six type of accounts right this is going to help you qualify for the bigger things you know to help you kind of build your brand so the first type of account is have at least four a tier one net 30 vendor accounts the second type of account is Everybody should have a NAV business boost account. Now, why? Because same thing, you can get it regardless of how long you've been in business, you can get it regardless of revenue, regardless if you have bad personal credit or good personal credit, and it reports to the business credit bureaus. Nugget right here. The whole goal, guys, is to do business and have accounts with lenders that report to the business credit bureaus. This will help you qualify for money to actually build your brand, grow your brand, expand all of those things, okay? So your NAV Business Boost is going to be your second type of account. Now, your third type of account is going to be a business corporate card i didn't say credit card i said a corporate card for the corporate card i recommend you have two to three so what is a corporate card a corporate card is like a divi or like a torpago and i actually recommend those two divi and torpago guys and so why am i saying that because number one it's a soft inquiry come on somebody everything i do is strategic so the tier one accounts soft inquiry nav soft inquiry or no inquiry the uh, corporate cards are soft inquiry so i'm trying to help you build business credit and preserve your personal credit another reason why i'm saying divi and torpago or just having a corporate card is because this is revolving unsecured credit in your business's name business ein that's going to do what help you qualify for the unsecured lines of credit unsecured you no know, business auto loan unsecured you know equipment financing and all those other things term loans micro loans come on somebody okay there's a method to my madness so the reason why I actually say Divi and Torpago over like a Brex or a ramp is because some of the business corporate cards have really hefty revenue requirements. So for example, yeah, Brex is a soft inquiry. Brex is a corporate card, but they also want you to have $100,000 liquid in the bank. So many of you do not have that, or you may not have that right now, or you may be a startup business. So that is not a card that you would qualify for. So start with a Divi and a Torpago because those are corporate cards that report to the bureaus that will help you build. Now a corporate card is revolving, so if they give you, you know, eight thousand dollars. You have eight thousand dollars you can spend, but remember, it's like in the American Express, meaning that the full balance is due in full at the end of the month. If you charge fifty thousand dollars in thirty days, fifty thousand dollars is going to be due. Now pause. That's okay. I just told you to get the card. I didn't tell you to max it out. Come on, somebody, right? But having that trade line on your business credit report is going to give you a strong business credit score, strong business credit profile, help you qualify for more money 
faster. The fourth kind of account, guys, a retail card. I recommend you have two to three. Again, this is revolving credit in your EIN reporting to the business credit bureaus. Now, you want to have those first three categories first, right? Because that's going to help you have a profile and score before you can even qualify for some of the retail cards. Because the retail cards, depending on the company, are tier two and tier three. Pause. From this point on, I cannot promise it is a soft inquiry, right? It's going to depend on the actual company. For uh, many of the retail cards, like, you know, Home Depot or Best Buy or Staples or like Lowe's, they are a hard inquiry, a hard inquiry, okay? So I didn't say soft inquiries, I'm telling you what kind of cards you actually need, okay? So ask them. Sometimes if you have a personal Home Depot, then it may not be a hard inquiry for a business Home Depot. If you have a personal Lowe's, it may not be, right? So when in doubt, you are a business owner, you are a boss, you are a wealth warrior, pick up the phone and ask. Now, nugget right here, guys, get accounts that you can actually use. So if I am a real estate investor and I do Airbnb, I may get a retail card, I may get Home Depot, I may get Lowe's, I may get Best Buys, I can get electronics and things in the property. Pause, please like, please share, please comment, because this is stuff that people do not talk about, but I'm giving you what the lenders are looking for, and you can do some of this right now. So if you're somebody who's been building business credit, you're like, oh wait, I don't have any retail cards, I don't have any corporate cards. Guys, Nugget, having multiple trade lines and different types of accounts is what makes you, the actual business entity, look financially stable, makes you look like you know how to manage your money, and it helps to show that other lenders have given you actual credit, even if you don't max it out. Having the unsecured revolving trade line in your business's name for points to the business bureaus is a nugget. Come on, somebody. Now, the fifth type of account, guys, is gas cards, fleet cards. I recommend that you have two to three. Now, the majority of the fleet cards are soft inquiries, but not all. So, if, for example, you know, a WEX or a Murph USA are soft inquiries, but a business fleet card like, you know, Exxon or Wawa or, you know, 7 Eleven or, oh, is it like, you know, Gold? Golf. Some of them are hard inquiries. Nugget, business credit is fluid, right? It's not like rigid, like with personal credit where everything is like one way. So go on their website and see if it says hard inquiry or soft inquiry or when in doubt, ask them, right? But the things like, you know, a WEX or like, you know, a Murph USA that you can get regardless of how long you've been in business, regardless of personal credit scores, regardless of your revenue, that is wise. Get the things you can get right now, even if you don't have any revenue, to make your business look strong on paper. Come on, somebody. So you can then qualify for the equipment financing, the term loan, the business auto loan, the business mortgage. The sixth type of card is obviously business credit cards. I recommend you have three to five. Now, pause. I want to say something right here. You didn't hear me say anything about a business loan. You didn't say, hear me say anything about, you know, equipment financing for these actual six type of accounts. Why? Because loans, as soon as you get them, you have a payment that's due right away. Guys, I gave you all revolving, unsecured trade lines that are different type of accounts that you use for different things you can use in your everyday life that report to the business credit bureaus that will help you get a strong profile, strong score, strong report. Now, why? Because you can have a $50,000 business credit card and if you're not using it, nothing's on there, you have no payment. Come on, somebody. The goal is to build wealth, not to get into debt. I don't want you to get a business loan. You had no use for the money, and now you just added a bill every single month, and you've put your major situation worse. But you can have a business fleet card, a business retail card, a business corporate card, and if you don't have a use for it right now, you don't have any balances. Don't have any balances means you don't have any monthly payments. Right? You're only getting monthly payments when you're actually getting ready to put it to something, to use for something that's going to help you actually get, generate additional income. Only use accounts that are going to help you. For example, let's say you are a consultant. Well, you may not need a Granger account, so don't get one. But maybe you do need a business plan to qualify for grants or qualify for loans. Well, then I may get a tier one business, a wise business plan account. Guys, think about what you're doing. The goal is not for you just to spend a bunch of money and waste your time. The goal is for you to build wealth and to leverage your EIN to, know, to actually get you know on um, revenue to help you build and grow your business now if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about go ahead and go to the description of my video and invest in a jumpstart strategy session so I can break this up for you but guys I want you to action item right look at the kind of business credit account you currently have who do you currently have credit with where are the gaps you have two vendor accounts and one corporate card and one gas card but you have no credit cards you have no retail cards right like pay attention so go through and what accounts do you currently have that's step number one number two are they reporting to the business credit bureaus 
Guys, if you have 10 accounts, this is not super hard, right? If you have 10 accounts, call one Monday, one Tuesday, one Wednesday, one Thursday. Do you report to the business bureaus? Have you reported to the business bureaus? What bureau did you report to? Okay, you didn't report yet. What do you need from me? Ask them directly. Stop guessing. Contact your creditor. Say, hey, I have a net 30 account with you. I don't see it on my business credit reports. When are you going to report it? And they will tell you, right? So break it up. If you have five accounts, do one every single day so you're being productive, but you're not being overwhelmed. So let me recap for you guys. So for number one, I said have vendor tier one and net 30 accounts at least four. The second type of account I said is a NAV business boost. The third type of account is corporate cards. I said two to three. The fourth type of account, I said retail cards. Again, two to three. And then I said number five, the fifth type of account is a gas card, right? Two to three. And then for business credit cards, three to five, right? And you wanna have those other accounts reporting to help you actually qualify for that. So getting these six type of accounts are going to help you build business credit scores, business credit profiles, help your business credit reports, and help you qualify for then the unsecured lines of credit, equipment, financing, all Auto loans, mortgages, all of those things. Got it, got it, good guys. And for my nugget, guys, there is a gap. There is a gap between what you're saying out of your mouth that you want and what you're actually doing. This is where, like, you know, God can't give you what you want if you're double minded. So you can't say, I want to be healthy and lose weight. And every single day, you know, you're eating, you know, french fries and ice cream and you don't work out. You're saying you want to be healthy and, and lose weight, but your actions are saying something different. Come on, somebody. You can't say I want a healthy, successful relationship and you're a liar and you're a cheater. Well, you're saying, I want my wife to love me. I want my husband to love me. I want a great relationship, but you're a liar and a cheater. You can't say I want my friends and I want people to be loyal to me, but you ain't loyal. You're a backstabber. Come on, somebody. You can't say I want to be a one percenter, but then you don't read. You don't tithe. You don't have a coach. You don't invest in trainings and webinars and courses to level up. You're not around in an environment with other one percenters. You can't say I want to be a multi-millionaire and you spend your money frivolously. You don't you know, look at you know, what's coming in and what's going out. You've changed none of your money behavior. I want to be a multi-millionaire, but every time there's a sale, you're out there shopping. You're not reinvesting your money. Come on, somebody. You can't say I want to be a self-employed entrepreneur or I want to start a business and every time you have free time, you're taking a nap. You're you know, binge watching Netflix. Y'all, this hit home for even me. There's a gap between what you're saying out of your mouth and what you're actually doing. So pay attention. So do a self-assessment. Leaders, bosses, they're able to self-assess. What are my goals? What have I said out of my mouth I want? And then what am I spending my time on every single day? What am I doing every single day? Are my actions in alignment with what I've said out of my mouth that I want for my life? If not, adjust. Start from today. Amen.